Hello Special Olympics athletes. I hope this video finds you and your family happy and healthy despite the global pandemic caused by the coronavirus that has caused lots of turmoil and posed many challenges for all of us. It is very important during this time to keep your mouth healthy as having a healthy mouth is important for having health throughout your whole body. I would like to demonstrate a few tips and tricks on oral hygiene that will keep your mouth healthy during this difficult time. First, I would like to show you the proper way to brush your teeth that uses a technique that is gentle to your gums and your teeth. First, I'm going to demonstrate with a manual toothbrush. I'll wet my toothbrush slightly with water. Then, I'm going to add about a pea-sized amount of toothpaste to my toothbrush, as so. Now, when I brush, I'm going to make sure to get every surface of my tooth. The most important part of this process is that when you brush, you should use very gentle strokes. This means that if someone were to come and take the toothbrush out of my hand, they could easily remove it. If someone were to come and try to take the toothbrush and whoa, I don't let go. That means that my grip on the toothbrush is too tight. So when I brush my teeth, I'm going to get every surface, including the top surface, here, the face, the surface facing my cheek, which is here, and the surface facing my gum, uh, my tongue, which is here. The same goes for the upper. Here, here, and here. Now when I brush, I'm going to start with the top surface. After I finish with the top surface of every tooth, I'm going to use gentle strokes on the rest of my the rest of the surfaces of my teeth. This will include the gums and the teeth in order to make sure the gums stay clean as well. For my upper teeth, I'm going to be using gentle downward and outward strokes as shown. Now, when I go for the lower teeth, I'm going to be using upward and outward strokes, still being gentle. After I've gotten every surface on the front sides of my teeth, I'm going to clean the surface facing my tongue and my palate. After these surfaces have been cleaned, I'm going to clean my tongue and my palate. Now my palate. Lastly, now that I have finished brushing my teeth, I'm going to wait one or two minutes for the fluoride in the toothpaste to sit on my teeth so that it can strengthen the tooth structure. Just to speed up this process a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my mouth now. So I'll rinse my mouth with water. And spit it into the sink rather than swallow it. Now that I have cleaned my teeth, I'm going to demonstrate how to floss. So when I floss, you want to make sure you have enough floss so that you can grip it between your fingers and have plenty of space to put in between your teeth. 
Now when I floss, I'm going to use a technique where the floss makes a C shape around the tooth. This shape can mimic hugging a tooth. So if this is my tooth and my fingers are the floss, the, fing my, the floss should be hugging the tooth like this. Okay? So I'll show you. I'll start with my back teeth. Here. And now my front teeth. Make sure you do this for the surfaces in between every single tooth. Now I will demonstrate with an electric toothbrush. This will basically be the same, except you use even less pressure on your teeth because the toothbrush will do most of the work. Same amount of toothpaste, and I'm gonna get every surface just as I did when I demonstrated with the manual toothbrush. Notice that my grip is very light on my toothbrush. This whole time I am using very little pressure on my tooth and making sure to get both of the gum surface and the tooth surface. Once I'm done, this whole process should take about two minutes. I'll rinse my mouth. And now I have brushed my teeth. Two things, remember, don't leave the water running while you're brushing your teeth, and don't swallow the toothpaste. Lastly, I want to share some helpful tips for you to clean your mouth after you have eaten or drank something. It is very important to swish your mouth with water anytime you eat or drink something with sugar in it. Additionally, Avoid any foods that are high in sugar, such as candy, ice cream, baked goods, chocolate milk, juice, or anything else that has sugar in it. Sugary foods create an environment in your mouth that allow sugar bugs to cause cavities, and we want to avoid cavities in any way possible. Thank you so much for listening to my video, and I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I'm happy to help you out.